Get ready to receive. These blessings are absolutely meant for you. Welcome in my strong, beautiful Leos to your mid-February 2024 money and career tarot reading. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, this is a time to receive. This is a time of rewards, uh, blessings. Financial gain is absolutely in the books for you. I feel like this is potentially a long time coming for a lot drawn to the reading, but it feels like um, it's a divine gift. It's a, a blessing uh, from uh, the divine realm, right? Weird wording, but spirit is supporting you at this time wholeheartedly. You know, naturally you could be having some uh, spiritual messing with moments as well, but overall you're very protected, guided, and supported at this time, and more so moving forward. Now, when the money comes in, it's going to be up to you how to naturally utilize that, where to uh, put it, what to do with it. And spirit saying, what about this? the next change? Bear with me that we foresee coming or maybe we're, uh, I'm hearing anticipating. Um, this is a sense of preparation for a change or two on the horizon. And spirit saying you would be wise to save your money. Okay, you would be wise to do so. Um, but the cards coming out. Okay, the chariot in reverse. I feel like there's going to be a true highlight in the remainder of February on when you're not feeling motivated and when you are, okay? And why that is in spirit saying, again, there's change on the horizon. And I feel like um, it's going to leave you with a lot more motivation, a lot more balance and harmony and um, drive within you. And I feel like the quality of your work and the way you connect with people, the way you connect to your work is going to and connect to money is what I'm hearing, that's going to develop and change moving forward in such beautiful ways to the point where uh, it reminds you and potentially informs you in one way or two that you're making the right choices and that again you're supported and guided. But we have the tower card, the chariot card, the wheel, and the king of wands. There's a huge focus on a tower moment. This could be past energy but again it feels like an important change, a switch up for the future for you whether it's um, heading towards a new career choice, a new position of some sort, could be uh, some of which you're going from uh, working for somebody or a company to entrepreneurship or vice versa. Could be a switch up in an investment like a housing situation or maybe a vehicle of some sort. But it feels like either way this is expected at least to an extent and it's going to um, be a positive transitional um, turning point for you. But putting that aside, the chariot card, the wheel, and the king of wands once again um, there's a need for you to, when you're feeling motivated in a bold and confident way, accomplish what you're meant to, because it feels like the divine again is uh, lining things up for you and supporting you with blessings. But there are going to be moments in the remainder of February where you feel or you're being told directly from spirit, this needs to be accomplished now, right? Um, or should be accomplished now. And you would be ignoring that um, incorrectly you basically would be avoiding extra blessings, right? More money, more success, more um, abundance in general. But it feels like there is an overly serious vibe about you for the most part in the remainder of the month that needs to be released to an extent or just at times utilized uh, to your advantage. But I feel like there's numbers going up. There's growth. There's progress. There's a feeling of you doing what you're meant to do in this lifetime or getting closer to that. There's a feeling of you um, knowing what you're doing and doing it so damn well. I really feel like a lot of which drawn to the reading have a new position of employment that's right around the corner. You may need to make an important phone call at this time. Um, if that's the case, I feel like it's at the end of the month or towards it. Um, but the wheel is turning for you, my friend. It's a time of divine progress. It's a time of divine okay, union and um, seeing multiple wheels turn in your favor. There's also a focus on a risk from the past for some, but really more so for the future for the majority drawn to the reading, but you need to rebalance yourself. Things are going to affect you in the remainder of February when it comes to that work environment, when it comes to maybe where you're living um, or where you're migrating to to spend money is what I'm getting. Um, or to think about that, it feels like uh, when things do affect you, it's up to you to tap into that knowledge bank, the experience, knowing yourself best and how to steer clear of that how to best cope with, deal with, and it may remind you and, and or inform you of uh, important changes for the future or why that's gonna come to be. Um, things can't stay exactly the same, period. And I feel like you don't want that either. There's a sense of maybe things feeling very unaligned with you recently, or at least for the most part. Um, slip ups are purposeful, remember that. But I feel like your courage, your uh, vibration, your energy is needed in the remainder of February. One moment.
In the midst of a quick break in between recording, I did get the message, uh, which was key for you, of don't be surprised when a situation works uh, to your advantage, uh, works in your favor. I feel like for a lot, that's a situation that isn't uh, perfect naturally, uh, but also uh, for a lot that has not been working in your favor, or at least felt like that at certain points. But um, I decided to clear the board and uh, start over with uh, more cards. But the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, because I really feel like it's a hard working period for you. We're going back to when we were speaking upon the King of Wands, overly serious at certain points. It's like you're not messing around. You're ready to buckle down to get things done. When things do disturb you, I wouldn't be surprised or distract you. I wouldn't be surprised if that, uh, I'm hearing, pokes you the wrong way, rubs you the wrong way. But we need to take a deep breath and recognize that things are changing in our favor moving forward to the point where, and again, all these blessings, these finances coming in are supporting that uh, moving forward. But for the time being, there's kind of a make the best until an upgrade sort of vibe about your uh, the remainder of your month um, in the month as a whole. I feel like there's going to be a purchase that you decide to, and it doesn't feel huge, that you decide to hold back from, and this will be a, a turning point for you, okay, on how to better manage your money moving forward. Um, but coming out, the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, I'm hearing keeping things on the down low, but I feel like in one, if not multiple other ways, you are being quite open, vulnerable, um, uh, honest, but then there's a strategy wrapped up into your honesty. Does that make sense? Um, the wording I feel like is very key for you in more than one situation in several different um, important ways throughout the remainder of the month. But it's a time for you where you're reaching for your independence, okay? You're reaching for more. You're uh, so excited when the money does come in, but then um, spirits are reminding you of how much more excited you would be if you could spend more of it um, or if more was, uh, I'm hearing, allotted to uh, fun things, okay? Uh, fun expenses, but I feel like uh, with the Six of Swords in reverse, again, there's a situation you have to make the best set of uh, for the time being. It feels like somebody's moving at the beginning of uh, or the end of this month. Um, I was going to say the beginning of uh, March, but I wouldn't be surprised if this has to do with uh, a career situation for some of which onto the reading like a job or a business, you name it. Um, but I think that you're going to feel better about your money and career path by the end of this month but still will have question marks still will have concerns um i feel like one of not multiple people in your life are a little bit if not fully concerned about your finances and or um your career or job situation or lack there of which um but when this does turn in the upright and you're able to leave a situation behind towards something better and upgrade once again or um, yeah, more success, uh, more comfort is what I'm getting, and maybe a better uh, energy, better vibration. Um, you're going to feel excited, okay? It will feel a little bit bittersweet for somebody, um, but I'm hearing the message good riddance, okay? Good riddance. I also feel like somebody has horrible energy in your midst, whether it's at work and or at home. It could be out and about contemplating or actually spending money. Um, I'm hearing for somebody when you're going to the bank, okay? Um, this person is not your cup of tea and you're not their cup of tea and that's totally fine but you may have to cope with deal with be surrounded by that and especially for my empaths like myself it can be a little bit annoying okay it can be a lot to handle but um, as I just shuffled that very uh, it felt very feisty in energy okay it, that person might be embodying or um, holding on to that kind of energy I really feel like either way, even if you're not one to label yourself as an empath, please cleanse your energy in the remainder of February. It's going to benefit you greatly. But Nine of Wands, um, didn't mean to say that. Interesting. You might be feeling a bit burnt out at certain points, a uh, wounded warrior uh, sort of energy. But the Knight of Wands talking about how you will be marching to the beat of your own drum in the remainder of February and this will work for you. This will benefit something greatly. And I feel like the changes that are being thought about contemplated even uh, pushed towards by spirit or more so pulled if we look at this imagery once again they are going to allow for you to march to the beat of your own leo passionate uh special drum more so yeah there's freedom on the mind my friend for a lot the, the money coming in gives you a taste of the financial freedom lying ahead but i do feel like you are uh, gaining freedom moving forward uh again more towards the end of the month in, in march for a lot um, but this feels like freedom on multiple levels, okay? Important levels for you because you're feeling a bit trapped and limited, whether it's, uh, again, financially for some and the blessings are rolling in to support that.
but it could be a commitment like where you're living, where you're working, you name it. Maybe you need a new place to run your business or you need to jump into interesting kind of full card energy, um, an entrepreneur situation where you don't have to deal with a bunch of BS from a company or whoever you're working for. But you have a lot to accomplish, a lot of options, my friend, and we will remind you of this time and time again if you um, need that reminder, okay? That felt more for the options part of that message. But um, when you do cross paths with or uh, an option pops up or you're pushed to look at the uh, available uh, con uh, options once again to consider or to uh, look at, you are going to need to trust your intuition. It was so much of a struggle to, that was a big struggle to get out, bear with me. But it feels like you're going to struggle at certain points in the, re in the remainder of the month, but you need to take a deep breath and recognize even the imperfections are an important part of this time period for you. It might even benefit the quality um, and the purposefulness of your work uh, in the end. But your world is changing, my friend, and I feel like you're going to glow at certain points to remind you of the fact that things are improving, things are working out for you. And I feel like things are falling into place more than, again, it feels like at times. But um, you're going to feel very supported by the spiritual realm. Once again, divine blessings left and right. And a big part of it is financial, okay? So if this was truly helpful, Sending you so much love and light, Leo. Go enjoy the remainder of February, and I'll see you next time.